Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So yeah, a question I get asked by people time and time again is what drinks can you drink whilst in the one meal a day intermittent fasted state? And yeah, I can understand why so many people ask me this on a regular basis, because if you're drinking certain drinks, you're not gonna get the full benefits whilst in that intermittent fasted state. So I'm gonna share with you in full details which drinks you can consume and cannot consume. And I'm not gonna cover things such as like pre-workout drinks, BCA drinks, and all these different things, because yeah, they are supplements that are added to drinks. And if you wanna learn about the supplements you can take whilst in your fasted state on a daily basis that will not break you out of a fasted state, and which ones will, I'll put a link for a video up above where I talk about all the different things in relation to that specific topic. So if you haven't seen that video and you wanna know about that in more detail, then go and check out that video as soon as possible. You could even pause this video, watch that one first and then come back to this, or you could finish watching this video and then go and watch that one. So yeah, the obvious one of the drinks that you can consume, that's not gonna break you out of your fasting state and give you the full benefits with your one meal a day diet journey is water. It is completely fine. I would always recommend avoiding tap water. It's the most toxic water in the world. It has so many detrimental effects on your mental and physical health. Holistically, I would always try and recommend either consuming distilled water or reverse osmosis water, but only if it's been UV'd and ozonated. And my personal preference is distilled water. This is what I've drunk for years. It is pure H2O with nothing toxic added to it. It's shown to actually increase nutrient absorption from food that you're consuming and it is the most permeable water for your body and your cells so it means it hydrates you the best possible and it also naturally detoxifies the body on a regular basis because yeah, if you're drinking it throughout the whole day it actually has a detoxification effect on the body because it has a negative ion charge and anything bad for your body has a positive charge so it's naturally and gently cleansing your body throughout the whole day when consuming it. So it's actually gonna help give you greater benefits when combining this water with your daily intermittent fast. And if you're someone that would like to make distilled water in your own home, because you maybe don't have access to it in the shops, I'll put a link down below to a website that has a list. The UK and US suppliers for the best home countertop water distillers in the world that can deliver straight to your door. The second one, coffee. Yes, you can consume coffee. Do not be adding anything such as MCT oil to it, or even a little bit of sugar, or a bit of milk. So I asked a lot of people, well, a lot of people should even say, ask me on a regular basis, can they add these things? And no, do not do that whatsoever. Because yeah, you're giving your body a type of fuel source that is gonna break it out of a truly fasted state. It's gonna stop giving you the full benefits. The third one, teas. Teas are absolutely fine as well. And a lot of them can actually lower insulin even quicker, which is gonna give you even greater benefits with fasting. They also have an abundance of antioxidants in and other nutrients that are really great for your mental and physical health holistically. And the fourth one, which is still gonna come under similar things to tea, and that is herbal teas. They're completely fine as well. And another drink that links to the teas is herbal teas, yeah, they're completely fine. But fruit teas are a big no-no. They are actually increase insulin within the body, and they break you out of that truly fasted state. Something that I get asked about time and time again, can they consume, is juice. No, do not consume juice at all. Don't consume any fruit smoothies, whether it's a green fruit smoothie or any type of smoothie, because it's firing up your digestion and giving your body a fuel source from those foods. Whether they're in liquid form or not, it doesn't make any difference. So yeah, avoid them at all costs. And the same goes for coconut water. I had a friend contact me recently and say that she's losing muscle and gaining more fat, and she said, that she's actually doing one meal a day. And then she told me at the same time she's drinking coconut water all day long. I said, no, 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 no. Don't do that. It's raising your insulin level, which is a fat storage hormone. And also it's making glucagon production go down, which is a protein that's being released whilst you're in a fasted state, which puts your body into a state to burn its own body fat as fuel. 
and it's also going to have a whole host of other negative effects as well consuming coconut water so yeah do not consume that at all and no nut milks no seed milks any type of milks at all because again they're a fuel source so put them in the body it's just not going to give you the full benefits of your daily intermittent fast so it's really going to slow down your progress and not necessarily going to get you the results that you desire and i see it time and time again there's so many people that are eating one meal a day and they're drinking some of these drinks that i don't recommend and then they wonder why they aren't getting the full weight loss benefits the full cognitive benefits the physical health benefits the mental health benefits and the whole host of other benefits as well so you really need to be mindful and think to yourself okay what drinks am i consuming and do they contain calories or do they contain certain fuel sources such as carbohydrates, fats, or proteins, or anything else that could break you out of that fasted state? And another drink that you can actually consume, which I highly recommend this a lot of the time because it has amazing appetite suppressing benefits. It can actually speed up your weight loss benefits and the detoxification benefits while you're in that daily intermittent fasted state for your one meal a day diet journey. And that is by using apple cider vinegar. And I would say that you always need to be making sure that it's organic, raw, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar with the mother that is preferably in a glass bottle to get the full benefits from it because a lot of that outside of being out there is pasteurized and it could be toxic and impure and just not good for you at all and if you don't know where to get this type of apple cider vinegar from that comes under that criteria i'll put links down below for uk usa and worldwide suppliers that can deliver it to your door and this has also been shown to make your insulin levels go down even quicker and yeah if you actually combine this with sparkling water these two together are one of the best appetite suppressants that I've talked about in another video and I also talk about other different things that you can do to suppress your appetite whilst in that intermittent fasted state. So you can actually find sticking to one meal a day a lot easier because yeah, a lot of people do find it quite hard and by following some of the tips that I share in that video to suppress hunger, that you can easily go throughout the whole day and easily fast 23 hours or even more if you want to. And another very big obvious one to not consume is any fizzy drinks whatsoever because they are loaded full of sugar. You can have zero calorie drinks that have artificial sweetness in, but what I say is they do contain artificial sweetness, they do contain a whole host of other toxic chemicals as well so they're really not good for your health at all if you want to consume them consume them but i personally wouldn't consume them and i don't recommend them to you at all even though you can still get the full benefits with your one meal a day diet journey and being in that intermittent fasted state so that is it for all the different drinks that i can think off the top of my head if i've missed any just let me know down below in the comments section and I'll answer your question into any of the drinks that you ask me about and whether you can consume them in an intermittent fasted state or not whilst on your one meal a day diet journey. And yeah, for me personally, what I say is I just consume water throughout the day. I don't consume any black coffee, no apple cider vinegar, no of these other acceptable drinks whatsoever because I don't feel that I need to at all. My hunger levels are pretty much non-existent almost all of the time whilst even fasting days in a robe which i've done a lot in the past and i find my energy levels are consistent throughout the day i feel really amazing and yeah i don't feel the need for anything else at all and my last thing i say is if you look into true fasting true fasting is where you consume water only so there is scientific research to show you can consume these types of drinks that i've mentioned that aren't water and still get the amazing benefits of daily intermittent fasting but i still feel that yeah, if you really want to get the greatest, greatest benefits, that consuming water is the best way to go. But if you don't feel that you want to do that, you don't have to do that. As long as you stick to what I've mentioned in this video with not drinking certain drinks I've mentioned and drinking other certain drinks, then that's absolutely fine. So that is it for this video. I hope that it's been helpful to you and very informative, and I hope that you've appreciated the content that I've shared with you in this video as well. If you have any questions that relate to anything in this video that I've talked about, let me know down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering all of your questions and I do my best to reply as soon as possible. 
But yeah, if I don't respond very, very quickly, then just be patient and I will reply when I get around to it. And yeah, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about the content of this video that I shared with you today in relation to one meal a day and the drinks that you can consume whilst in the intermittent fasting state that will allow you to stay in that intermittent fasting state and get the full benefits. And if you'd like to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis, click that subscribe button because yeah, I have so many different types of videos coming on a regular basis where I'm talking about one meal a day intermittent fasting, showing you what I eat on my one meal a day diet journey on a plant-based vegan diet, calisthenics workout and progression videos, and many other different types of videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to get the body that you desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well, and also teach you all the information that you need to achieve those and sustain them long term as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.